you know, I always tell people I cried all the way home. And then once I got home, I was done. I was done crying. And I was like, okay, this is what we have. What are we gonna do? What's next, you know? And my husband's like that too, but he's, he's more analytical. And, you know, if I were to talk to families getting an early di diagnosis, I would say to them, it's okay that you will all handle it differently. You're all different people. You'll process it differently. You'll deal with it differently. And you'll all come to your own um, peace with it. Him getting that early diagnosis for him is just how he grew up. It was his, his way of life. And he didn't really, never really saw muscular dystrophy as a problem. It was just who he is and part of who he is. And, and I realized he didn't, and you know, he's developed in the muscular dystrophy front, he's ahead of the curve and he's, his progression has been very slow. Um, you know, so he's, he has a lot of abilities, but throughout growing up, there were things he couldn't do that other kids could do, you know, or that he struggled with, but he never, never bothered him. He never seemed to care.